Austin reaffirms U.S. support during Ukraine visit. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin 3 underscore the United States steadfast support for Ukraine, as it defends itself from Russian aggression, during talks with senior leaders in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, today. Austin met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Defense Minister Rustam Umerov during an unannounced visit to the country. The leaders discussed Ukraine's current operations and near-term and mid-term goals and objectives, Austin told reporters following the talks. I wanted to reassure the leadership that the United States of America will continue to support Ukraine, he said. We talked about the things that we're going to continue to do to make sure they have what they need to be successful on the battlefield. He added that the discussions were an opportunity for the leaders to refocus and ensure that, to maintain alignment between the ongoing operations and objectives on the battlefield. Austin's visit marks his third to Ukraine as Defense Secretary and, second since Russia's invasion. While in Kyiv, he announced a new security assistance package for Ukraine valued at up to $100 million. The package includes additional air defense capabilities, artillery ammunition, anti-tank weapons and other materials to help Ukrainian forces defend their territory amid Russia's ongoing assault. It marks the 51st drawdown of U.S. inventory for Ukraine since August 2021. The U.S. has provided $44.2 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the start of the war. Austin also underscored the continued support from the U.S.-led group of nearly 50 countries known as the Ukrainian Defense Contact Group, which has rallied in support of Ukraine. The International Coalition has provided about $36 billion in security assistance to Ukraine, further enabling Ukrainian forces to defend their nation's sovereignty and regain more than half of the territory seized by Russian invaders. That group has roared into action, and we have continued to work together to provide much-needed security assistance in the form of other artillery platforms, tanks munitions, Austin said. And so, perfect work on the part of our allies. Austin will host the 17th meeting of the Ukrainian Defense Contact Group later this week. Austin's visit comes as Congress takes up President Joe Biden's request for supplemental funding to continue to support Ukraine. While Congress continues to work through the request, Austin said he is confident there is bipartisan support for Ukraine in both chambers of Congress. I know that there are some things that we need to continue to work through to get the supplemental request approved, he said, and we'll continue to work with Congress to do that. The secretary added that continued support for Ukraine is imperative. What happens here matters not just to Ukraine, but to the entire world, Austin said. This is about the rules-based international order. This is about not living in a world where a dictator can wake up one day and decide to annex the property of his peaceful neighbor. That's not the world we want to live in. And so this is, this is more than, than just Ukraine. This is about, again, the rules-based international order. Final question, Mr. Ryan Washington.